Only on KCCI tonight, a neighborhood in Perry is on the lookout for a rogue rabbit. It's been at least two people. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh went to Perry to find out how. Some people living in the 1900 block of 1st and 2nd Street here in Perry say a cute black bunny patrolling their neighborhood has been far from friendly. This is why it aggressively lunged at the person behind the camera. Hey, Whoa. it did more to Ramona Rustin. It just jumps up and bites me and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just got bit by a bunny. Rustin says the bad rabbit then hopped next door to her neighbor's house. It came around to her car and it wouldn't let her out of her car. But well, when she did get out of her car, it chased her up to her, her door. Rustin called Perry Police. A call report given to us by the police shows a 13-year-old across the alley from Rustin was also bitten by the same rabbit. The Perry Police Department said it's been a rabbit that's been around terrorizing people. The call report indicates the 13-year-old will be getting the rabies shots, a precaution Rustin, no, who says she is a nurse, shot. has no interest pursuing. No, I'm not worried about rabies. Because when it bit me, you know, I didn't see it frothing out the mouth or anything like that. Late Friday morning, Perry police caught the rabbit and took it to the city's wastewater treatment plant where it was released. It has not been seen in this neighborhood since. In Perry, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And police tell us they still don't know if that rabbit has rabies. Rabies is extremely rare in Iowa. In 2022, the state reported 11 cases of rabbit animals, and they were all bats. Some of those 11 were in Polk, Warren, Story, Boone, and Jasper counties. It spreads through saliva. Typically, the only reason to worry about yourself or a pet is if there was a bite from a rabid animal.